Well, hello, Santa Barbara Community Church family. Mike and I just wanted to take a minute to reach out and let you know that while we have prepared a fuller statement on our response to the events of this past week that have taken place in Minneapolis and elsewhere in our country, we want to share with you, church, that we have seen what is going on in our country and we, like you, find ourselves sick to our stomachs over the unfolding racial turmoil in our country and the ways that it reminds us that we have much work still to do related to bringing the blessings of the kingdom of God to bear on our country. And we are committed to continuing to learn more uh, from the stories of those who are experiencing marginalization, but also we want to do more. And the prophet Isaiah is helpful in reminding us that it's not enough simply to know more, but we're called to engage. So hear the word of the Lord. It's from Isaiah 58 verses 6 and following. Isaiah says, Is this not the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loosen the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke, to set the oppressed free and break every yoke? Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? When you see the naked, to clothe him and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you, and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call, and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help, and he will say, Here I am. If you do away with the the yoke of oppression, with the pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourself in behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness, and your night will become like the noonday. Church, we want to be really clear. We believe that every single person is created in the image of God and therefore is endowed with dignity from their creator. And therefore, we believe as Christians, we ought to be a part of affirming the dignity of others. But we don't want to just have the right thinking. Like the Isaiah passage points out, we want to be involved in right living. And so to that end, I want to call us, church, to a special time of prayer this Wednesday during the noon hour. You can find the Zoom link on our website. During that hour, we are going to be praying specifically about the racial injustice that we see in our country and asking the Spirit of God to heal our broken land. We hope that you will take advantage of this opportunity and others to come to not just simply affirm that we believe that others have dignity, but to live as though we do as well. Church, We see what's going on in our country, and we are excited to labor alongside you to bring the blessings of the kingdom of God to bear.